Ladies and gentlemen, how many of y'all were excited last night? You couldn't sleep because you're going to come for today's TED Talk. Please put up your hand. Oh, only a few. <laughs> Next question How many of y'all get excited every night because you're going to go to your classroom? Please put up your hand. Very few. How many of y'all decided to come to TED and talk? Just like that. When they say there's a tech talk and you're Jeez, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go And how many of y'all did that? How many of y'all were uh, What is that egg? What's this thing? The top top one or top top is almost going here How many of y'all were hesitant? Please put up your hand You want to go There to decide Everybody in, in our life come to a juncture that you need to make a decision. Now, who am I to talk about decision making? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my name, Captain Arima. I was a ship captain before. I was sailing around the world for the past 13 years. And I've been to 49 different countries. I've been to seven oceans and six continents. I've been to places that you don't want to go. Have you heard about Bermuda Triangle? I passed through Bermuda Triangle seven times and I'm still alive. <laughs> now, when I talk about ship, a lot of people thinking about that boat, you know, hello, please take out the boat from your brain. Take out, take out, take out. The ship that I'm talking about are gigantic ships like this. This is about 250 meters in length, ladies and gentlemen. And as a ship captain, we have to make decisions all the time to make sure we do the wanted decision for us to go to the right direction. Am I right? One small problem, one small unwanted decision, there you go. People die, my friend. That is a type of thing that I came from. So I'm here to give you real insights from the brain. You can decode my brain today and find out how a ship captain makes decisions our life. Every single instant. Now I'm gonna let's play a game. Can we play a game? You got door A, door B. Choose one door. Which one would you like to open? How many of y'all want to open door A? Please put up your hand. Okay. How many of y'all want to open door B? Please put up your hand. I'm wondering how did you make that decision? <laughs> you just went but that God la, something else, something. How many of you are indecisive right now? I don't know, I don't have a right decision because I don't have enough information. How many of you are like that? How many of you, uh, I don't want to make a decision, we're going to die, something's going to come out, you know? Uh, how many of you are like that? Okay, hey, does it matter? Let's see who got what. If I were to do this, don't eat. Hey. Got a lot of money in here. And don't be, ah, very nice. Now, E. Now, I'm going to give you another key. Another key. Okay, now I've got door. A, B, C, D. Bigger problem. Situation is this. Before you decide, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what's going to be there behind there. Will that be fine? Is that cheating? No, huh? Really, huh? Yeah? So, I'm going to give you this. Okay. Tell me. Hold on, huh? Sorry, ready? Now, which door you want to open? How many of you have decided A? Please put up your hand. No one. B? Nobody. C? D? Oh, still got huh? <laughs> I like that garbage, you know? <laughs> And the answer is C. It's so easy to make a decision. What is the problem? Today, early morning, there was a snooze, right? There was 
was a, there was an alarm clock came into you. How many of y'all woke up like this? It's a great day. How many of y'all woke up like that? So how many of y'all did this? Spills. Sleeps up only for a minute.
when am I going to get married? <laughs> but I got married. <laughs> when I saw my wife, at that time she was a girlfriend. She was not even a girlfriend. She was just passing through my best friend's wedding. His name is Paramasilan Ananda Lucky Kunasilan. In his wedding, I saw this woman passing through. When I saw her, I saw the future, me living with her. And I decided immediately, if I want to get married, I must marry to this girl. I didn't care she got a boyfriend. I didn't care she got a husband. I didn't care at all. I just saw and said, And I got that powerful purpose, hopeful purpose in the future. Man. The dream was so clear. Now the best part is after I met her somehow or other, I created a system for me to go and meet her through my friends and everybody. And I met her. And I brought her on a date. My first date. My first date, I called her. She just came down from that from her office and said, Hi, darling. She looked at me and said, Darling. <laughs> so confident, let me tell you, let me tell you. And I hold her hand while I was crossing the crossing the road. I was just holding hand. I was just walking. And she was like, I'm holding hand already. <laughs> in her eyes that I'm going to live with her forever. <laughs> in a movie, Gapu. But really this happened, my friend. And finally, after two weeks, every day I speak her, every day I talk to her, and she was asking, what are you doing to my life? Why are you suddenly in my life? And why are you talking to me every day? After two weeks, she asked me like that and said, I'm going to marry you, baby. <laughs> and she said, what? You're the crazy fella! You don't know me, what you She started crying over the phone. But I was so, so adamant, so clear that I'm gonna get married to her. And you know what? I have to go on board ship after two months. And I said to her, You see, you wait for me, darling. In six months' time to seven months' time, I'm gonna come back here and I'll get married to you. And she said, Are you sure? Absolutely. That's what's going to happen. But I don't know. Don't worry. It's going to happen. <laughs> and I came back, my friend, for seven months. And I'm married to her. We are 15 years married. And we got two kids. <laughs> Everything starts from this word, my friend. She's still waiting. 
Don't make her wait too long because that kiss you're not going to give, another person going to give. <laughs> so you better make that decision. Most of us worry, my friend. This is the problem. This is the biggest issue that we have. I was staying in a condominium nearby my house and I happened to see an amazing sight of this tree. And in that tree, there was this bird, ladies and gentlemen. And there was a nest being built, and that egg was there, and this bird was growing. And every day, I was watching this bird, watching this bird and seeing what is happening. That bird, slowly, slowly, it turned out to be big. After a few months, it became really big. But then it doesn't know that it's supposed to fly. But it has this hope that it was watching other birds flying. It was telling, I'm supposed to fly. What am I doing here? And I was looking at everyone, and then there was a time. It had to make that decision. Am I right, my friend? It had to leave. So what it did, it went in front of the final place that was there. I'm not going to jump over here. Was there, getting ready, getting ready. But it doesn't know. It was in that worry moment that if I jump, if I can't fly, will I die? Will I just jump and then I will straight away flat? But no, it took that risk, my friend. Everybody have to do this. Don't worry about right decision or wrong decision. Just do it first, my friend. Let me tell you, and that bird took the flight. It took the flight. But it was flying for a while, just for a while. And immediately after that, it started moving down. And it was flapping and flapping and flapping, trying it back, but it's still moving down. And it just keep on going down. It was just almost, almost it wanted to fail. It never thought it's going to fail because it just know, it just know, it just had to flap as much as what it can. And finally, it started to take that leap, my friend. And it flew. The story about my life is this. I quit sailing cold turkey, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? Because I had a purpose in mind. My purpose was so clear. When I go out there, I'm going to start up my own company and I'm going to run my company big time. That was the dream that I had. And I didn't know whether it was going to happen or not. And when I flew out from the sea, I was dropping. But because my purpose was so clear, I flew, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to take that decision. That father that you have not been talking for a long time. If you want to go and talk, talk. Make that decision. The brother that you slapped the other day. You want to say sorry? Say. Make that decision. I'm going to end this topic by telling you one real life scenario. How does it take for a person? from one part of call Sydney to another part in Mexico. Now, as a ship like this, normally the ship will be at anchor. Do you understand anchor, my friends? Now, the ship is at anchor at Sydney Harbour. You will never know the anchors are, ladies and gentlemen. If I were to look at the beginning, at the front part of the ship, you know the front part of the ship? If you were to see the movie Titanic, you know the you jump, I jump. <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, if you go to the journey, 
and sometimes that kind of weather will come in. What you gonna do? Stop? No such thing, ladies and gentlemen. You go through it because you're already prepared. You lash the ship, you lash everything, and you move on, my friend. You might get into a rough weather like this. I've been to a weather that is up to 40 meters wave, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, it's not nice. The ship will go up and down. And the front part of the ship will go inside the water like that. At that time, you'll call all the gods in the world. I'm a Hindu, I've got too many. <laughs> but none of them can help, you know. At times, you go into a weather like this. The sea goes inside, outside. The ship go left and right, 30 degrees to left, 30 degrees to right. What are you going to do? Stop there and cry? You move. You sail through. Because you really make the decision. There's no such thing. You might be thinking, I made the wrong decision. Why? I should have. You know, a lot of people out there will be telling, you should have. You should have stayed. No, my friend. You like it or not. The weather will be bad, but there will be a time it will subside. <coughs> and it will subside much more nicely. And there will be a time, there will be a spectacular vision that you get on sunset, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, you get to the port. <coughs> finally, ladies and gentlemen, you will reach the port. Your life. It's about making this decision right now. Get all the information necessary. Be clear with where you want to go. And you get the power to make the decision. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We can make it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.